We are live. We're live now? Yeah. That's this is this is different. I know. I'm gonna see if anybody logs on. A I'm lot of is this works. through Riverside or through you? It's through Riverside. Pretty sure. How will we know if people are it should say at the bottom. It should come up when people are talking. Yep, there we go. Ken Hill's on. Ken Hill is on. <laughs> and Pam. Pam is on. Uh, hey, Pammy. <laughs> and Lori. Hello, Lori. Good to see everybody. We're just waiting for a few minutes uh, for everybody to jump on or for a few more to jump on. Hi, Miss Betty. I think you're, uh, I think Miss Betty, some of your people's headed my way. Uh, uh Mike Dorsey, good to see you. David Gabriel, good to see you, man. Glad you guys are watching. Hey, Carla Hardy, my goodness, baby, it's been forever since I seen you. I hope you're doing well. How about you, Drew Pat? Yeah, man. Hey, Drew <laughs> Pat, we up in the wilderness, son. We're up in the wilderness. There's Sean. Yes. I know, Sean, you'll be down here in a little bit. I can't wait till y'all get here. I can't wait till you get down. Good morning, Nathan. Hey, Nathan, good to see you, man. I hope y'all can see us well. Uh, here's another very, you know, because of the uh, whole uh, pandemic thing, the lockdown thing, we've been having to learn to do a lot of firsts, a lot of firsts. Uh, uh, we had to learn how to uh, do a service without having a lot of live praise and worship. And then uh, we did a lot of uh, uh, streaming from... Uh, well, first we were at Jamal's house in his garage, and we ended up in mom's living room, and then we ended up back at the church, and then back in mom's living room, and then back at the church. And today, uh, this is something exciting. I know it's 4th of July weekend, and um, uh, hopefully everybody is having an amazing weekend uh, with their family and uh, just, just enjoying that. I, that's number one. I hope you guys are having a safe... Baby, got to lean in. Nobody can see you. Oh. Have a safe uh, and fun weekend with your families. Um and uh, my plan was not to do any type of live streaming uh, this weekend. I didn't want to ask the worship team to show up uh, because we weren't going to be there. And I didn't want to impose upon them. Um, and we're definitely in a different season right now uh, with this whole uh, uh, quarantine thing that's been happening. And uh, But I didn't want to uh, let a Sunday go by without us coming on just saying good morning and saying hello to everybody. And so uh, we do have some cell reception down at the camp where we stay. We are in West Virginia, by the way. There's the hat. <laughs> we got our West Virginia yeah. shirts on. So my family and I are down here in uh, on our property in West Virginia. Uh, just kind of, uh, uh, he said, oh, he's going to the big screen. Uh, just to, uh, just to, uh, you know, it's, it's been a tradition in our family, uh, for about 12 years. Hey, Stacy, good to see you for about, and Darlene Kovalev is good to see you. Hope you and Don are doing well. Yee yee back to Sean. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, uh, so for about 10 or 12 years, we've been coming down here, uh, to this mountain and, uh, just, uh, uh, for the 4th of July, just time for our family to get mm -hmm. away and come down here and enjoy the time away. And, uh, we haven't done it in a few years, uh, but we're doing it, we're doing it this year. And so uh, it was a, it's been a great weekend. A lot of our family uh, started heading home today. Uh, Tina, myself, and uh, the kids, uh, mom and dad, have stuck around and uh, are staying here uh, for a few more days uh, and uh, uh, just to, uh, to continue to do some more work and to, to do things that need to be done on the property here. Plus, uh, in the county that we're in in West Virginia, there, I think there's only four confirmed cases of COVID-19. So there's not a whole lot of, the people in West Virginia have been social distancing for hundreds of years and they know how to do it, do it well down here. So, uh, yes. so we're down here this weekend and, um, uh, just, uh, just kind of hanging out, but I want to come up. So at the camp, we have some cell reception. We use a booster down there to, to be able to, to do, uh, to be able to text and calls. But up on the very top of our property, the very top of a mountain, it's a, it's a big mountain that we have. Up on the very top of that, we have pretty decent reception uh, to be able to live stream. So Tina and I thought, hey, let's drive up. It's Sunday morning, 1030. Let's drive up and uh, just say good morning to everybody and uh, just to try to connect with everybody and uh, say hi. And so, hey, Ashley, good to see you. Ashley and Nicole, Cheyenne. That's not a spider, baby. That's just a granddaddy long legger and it took off. And so we're sitting uh, in Jace's uh, side by side. Uh, he let us borrow it by borrow it. The keys were in it. We jumped in and yes. took off. So we're, we kind of stole it. So we're driving it like it's stolen. And uh, miss you too, Cheyenne. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, but we're just up here, and we thought we'd just say good morning. And uh, we're we're uh, we're gonna flip the camera around, and well, Tina is, and she's just gonna kind of give you. Uh, a shot of where we are. We're on the very top of, a, of this mountain. Hi, Joe. Joe, good to see you, baby. We're on the very top of this mountain. And, uh, uh, and, and this is where I spend a lot of my time in the fall. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little getaway from me uh, to come out here and just to be away. Uh, Stacy says the daddy long leg is still a spider. Okay, well, maybe it's a spider, but not a spider like a... It's not a scary looking spider, Stacy. It's not a... It's, it's got it's, it's got a little tiny dot of a body and it's just all legs. <laughs> so, Mike Dorsey, good to see you, man. Mike, I am uh, I, I my my plan, Mike, is to this week read the the lesson that you sent me and give you some feedback. Uh, I do want to get that done for you. Mm -hmm. I kept it I kept it in my email, so it's the only thing in my email that I'm watching, and so I uh, or, or looking at rather, so I don't forget to do it. So I haven't forgotten, Mike. I promise you. Um, uh, Stacy says any spider is scary. Uh, yeah, that's what Tina says. I, I don't know. I, it was just a daddy long leg. It was, and I went to reach for it, <laughs> but before I usually they're kind of they don't really scurry. I went to reach for it, and this thing took off. You know, so it was gone. I don't know where it went. Mm -hmm. Maybe crawling on my face here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Alethea, it's good to see you. Uh, uh, glad all you guys are, are jumping on here. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip the camera around in just a minute and uh, kind of give you a view of the top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. n n the, as far as I know, there's not been very many people uh, from the church that has been up on the top of this mountain. A few people that have visited down here from the church has been here and I brought them up here, but most of you will probably uh, never get this view. So we thought it'd be super cool just to come up and uh, uh, give you a view on top of the mountain and uh, show you what it looks like up here. It is it is beautiful. I don't know. Hopefully you can hear some of the birds over my voice. Uh, some of the birds kind of singing and chirping. And uh, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Uh, Nathan says uh, they are poisonous. It's the most poisonous spider in the world. The, the daddy longlegger is. I didn't know that. Hmm. And I was reaching for it, Nathan. I was reaching for it with my bare hands. That's how much of a they, they that's how much of a man I am. I was going at it. Look, no gloves, barehanded. I was going in for that spider. He did say that they don't bite humans. Nathan, don't tell everybody that. Tell everybody I was dealing with the most poisonous spider in the world. I was I was going at it with both hands. Hey, Donna, good to see you, Donna Stemple. Glad y'all uh, are joining us as well. Um, and we're gonna flip the camera around here shortly and just kind of show you guys. So just bear with us. This is new. We haven't done yeah, anything like I've, this before. And uh, but yeah, we're, you know we're like, hey, just because we're down here, we we can still contact people and say, Wendy Herrera, good to see you, baby. I'm glad you're on hey. here. She used to play with the most poisonous spider in the world as a kid. Hmm. Wendy, I don't know. It doesn't seem right, but okay, if that's what you did, honey, if that's how you entertained yourself. <laughs> Uh, we, we had uh, Sega Genesis. That's how we entertained ourselves. No, not when we were kids. Monopoly. Cards. Uh, we cards. were never allowed inside. We, Mom made us stay outside yes. all the time. Yes. You're, you grew up in town, though. I, I was grew always up in, outside. Really? Riding my bike. My, I would, was allowed to ride my bike to town. You were in town. That wasn't well, a long was ride. A, you, was, you lived in town. street and a bridge. And it's, it was still. Snakes scare me, not spiders. Um... Well, uh, hey, Richard, good to see you, man. Uh, they, they could be. Lysandra, how are you? Good morning, good morning. It's good to see you as well. Um, so we're going to flip okay. the camera around. going to show you a little bit of what it looks like up here and um, uh, give you a view. I'm going to jump out of the cart and just kind of walk right, around. I am going to flip this. Flip it around, baby. I flipped it. I just don't need to trip when I get out. I'm not tripping. I got you. I wonder you. if they're going to be able to see like, how steep this hill is. That well, way. I'll walk that over way. as close as I'm going to get. I don't know. Can, does this, can you guys see? What's, let me see what it looks like on the camera. Eh, it kind of looks flat. I don't know if you guys can see that. Believe it or not, that's almost straight down. I mean, it really is. And I would go walk down there to show you that it's almost straight down. But then I would actually have to walk back up. And I'm just not interested in doing that. It's just, uh, it's yeah. Unless it's I get gonna... it, unless I get enough people, I, do they give thumbs up on here? They can. They can hey, do Karen little hearts DeBolt, and stuff. If you do hearts or 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 enough hearts and thumbs up or whatever, uh, I, it might encourage me to actually walk down and back ah. up. I'm not gonna. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here, I'll flip it around so you can see. Go ahead, Tom. Okay. <laughs> if I get, oh, there it is. If I get enough <laughs> thumbs and hearts. There, there, that, there, that's Wendy Herrera's it. donut because Wendy yeah. hates me. Wendy, what are you doing? I'm good to you, baby. Why are you doing this? Look at all the hearts. Oh, yeah. I think all they're, right. If she flips um, the camera, I will try to walk down. I'm not going to go all the way down. That's a long ways. That's got to be a half a mile down. But I'll just go a little ways down just to show you how steep this hill is. By the way, those of you, if you... Uh, Ever heard me tell this story about uh, when I was turkey hunting up here several years ago, I shot a turkey and it, and it was on the teetering on the edge of a hill and I went to grab it. This is, it's not on, it's this <laughs> hill, but not this particular hill. It's a little ways that, that way, but this is the same hill that it was on the same steepness, but it wasn't in this actual spot, but this is the, this is the hill that I fell down. Uh, and I had a great, I had a great point. Okay, Richard, I'll run down. Yeah. Uh, look at Ashley. She put all the hearts. Y'all want yeah. me to, y'all want to mm -hmm. see me get winded is what you want to do. And red in the face well, and like huffing and puffing. I like to know come and help you back up that Yeah, hill. if I don't, <laughs> if I, you're going to have to, your, Tina's going to have to come pull me back up. Mm -hmm. But, but I'll show you just so you get an idea. So this is the hill that I fell down. So here's a great little devotional thing for you. Uh, uh, I, I've hunted turkeys for a long time, never killed one. I finally shot this big tom turkey. It was the spring gobbler season. I, I shot this turkey and I and I knocked it down. I, I assumed it was dead. I went over to pick it up and it started to flop around and it flopped over the hill. And I went to jump for it because I didn't want it to go over the hill because I knew if it went down the hill, I'd have to go down with it. And I didn't want to have to walk down and get it. As I lunged to grab this turkey, uh, I lost my footing and I slipped. And I started falling down this hill. And there was a moment where the turkey was on top of me. And then I was on top of the turkey. And then the turkey was on top of me. And then I was on top of the turkey. <laughs> and when it was all said and done, I was at the bottom of this hill with this turkey that I had killed. It was dead. And I was so upset, so frustrated, so angry. I was kicking this turkey. I was mad at this turkey. I didn't really kick the turkey. I wasn't being mean to it. But I was kicking at it. I was just, oh, I was ready to just spit fire. And, and, and as I was down there doing it, I looked all the way back up the hill where I had fallen from. And I said, just a moment ago, I was so elated and so happy. I finally got to shoot a turkey and I was on, I was on top of the mountain. It was a great moment, a great time. And then just a moment later, I'm at the bottom of the mountain and I'm mad and I'm miserable. And, and it's like, God was teaching me a lesson. He <laughs> enjoy the time when you're on top of the mountain because in a moment you could be at the bottom. Here's another great point to that story. I ended up having to walk back up and it was a lot of effort, but I made it back up to the top and, uh, but it liked to kill me. So stay on the top of the mountain as long as you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got enough hearts. I'm going to walk down. And so just to show you guys how steep this thing is. Okay. Hopefully it shows up on camera. And you can tell. Well, if I stand here, they'll see how you're walking down there. I'm not doing it. I have to go down sideways else I'll fall on my backside. Uh, it looks like you're going down a hill. Oh gosh, honey. <laughs> I can, I can tell. Can you guys tell that it's, de that it's steep? Maybe if I put it down on the ground, you can see how steep it is then. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> I, I only went a few yards. Even past where I was at, it even drops off even further. That's where that turkey ended up, even further. But it's a pretty steep hill. And so here's the wood. Show them the wood, baby. Show them all the trees. Look how big this tree is up here. This tree is massive. This okay. Yeah, I think it might be. Yeah. Look how big this thing is. This thing's got to be as old as Mama Gail. Maybe, I don't know. But it's old. It's been here a long time. And so this is big trees everywhere. Yeah. This is the Oof. this is the wilderness. This is a wilderness and. I woke up this morning, I was kind of thinking about, I was, you got flies on your hand there, baby. I was okay. thinking about, uh, 
I, for some reason, when I woke up, I started thinking about wilderness. And maybe it's because I'm in the wilderness, like literally, physically in a wilderness. We don't have uh, uh, running water. We don't have electric up here. Uh, we have to uh, we have a generator. We have to go get water and bring it up uh, and contain it. Look, I'm huffing and puffing out <laughs> of breath because of you guys. Because I was trying to show you how steep the hill was. And uh, so we have to go get our own water and bring it up. We, we, we have a generator for electric. I mean, we're, we're in the wilderness up here. Uh, there's no running to McDonald's to get a bite to eat. Uh, so, I mean, you could drive, but it's gonna take you a while. Uh, to go to Walmart here, it's like an all day event. And so we're in the wilderness. Anyway, I woke up thinking about that. I was actually having a conversation earlier this morning with Brother George, and uh, I just we were talking a little bit about the wilderness. And one of the things that, you know, I thought about was how a lot of people think that when they're in a wilderness, it's a difficult place to be, I'll be honest with you, because you don't necessarily feel God. Uh, some of you that uh, are watching right now, maybe you've been in a place where, you know, I don't know if, it, like in my life, there have been times where I've walked really close with God and I felt like he heard every single one of my prayers. He knew exactly what I needed when I needed it. And, and, and a lot of times before I could even pray it, he had already answered it. And there have been other times in my life where I've, I'm walking with God. It's, I, there was, it's not like I've committed some great moral failure, some horrific sin, or hadn't been in devotion. It's none of that. But it's like, I'm crying out, God, do, do you, where are you? You know, and I felt like there are times where God's just not, not as near. And, uh, uh, and, and I know God doesn't move, and typically it's us. But then also, it could be that you're in a wilderness experience. And I mean, there have been times where, you know, when you're in the wilderness uh, I think a lot of people say that, well, I'm in the wilderness and I don't feel God's presence. God must be mad at me and he must be punishing me. And so he's distanced himself from me. And I want to encourage you and just let you know that that's not may not necessarily be the case. In fact, I know it's not the case because Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That I'm a friend that will stick closer than a brother. He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. So I want to encourage you watching today that you may feel like you're in a wilderness and that God doesn't hear you when God's nowhere around and you don't necessarily feel him like you used to. That is not God punishing you. That's not God punishing you. I want to just say that to you and let you know. Most of the time when you find yourself in a wilderness, it's never because he wants to punish you. I'm convinced that he wants to prepare you. And so you're just going through a time of preparation, not punishment, preparation. Then I started thinking about all the patriarchs of the Bible. I started thinking in the Old Testament how there were uh, uh, there was Moses and Joseph and David and Elijah. And, and, and uh, there was uh, uh, in the New Testament, Paul and Jesus himself. All of them, and many more, went through a wilderness experience, a desert experience, a backside of the mountain experience. It wasn't, it wasn't because God was angry with them. It wasn't because God wanted to punish them. It wasn't because they done something horrible and, and God turned his face away from them. No, God was preparing them. God was getting them ready for them to, uh, to, to begin to accomplish what they were put on the earth to do. To get them to do exactly what he purposed them to do. How cool is that? That that all these times that I've experienced times where like, God, where are you? Was never God trying, angry at me and punishing me, but it was always God preparing me for whatever he destined and prepared for me to do in the earth. And so I just want to encourage you today with that word. I just want to bless you with a little devotional time and just let you know just because you're, you may feel like uh, God's not around or you may not feel his presence. Just know you're in a wilderness right now and just know that he's preparing you right now He might be doing that to the whole church for that matter. I mean, we have been on quarantine. We have been isolated from each other But that, that's not God punishing the church. That's God preparing the church That's God getting us ready for the for the next thing for the next thing that I think is just going to be a, an amazing phenomenal thing that he's going to launch us into Maybe God's getting ready to release the church into its, enti in, in, des its uh, intended design. Uh, he's going to launch us into and release us into his, his intention for the church, who we're supposed to be. Who are we supposed to be? A church that's waiting for Jesus to come and rapture us away? No, I don't think so. I used to think that, but not so much anymore. I think he's, he's preparing us and getting us ready to have a people in the earth that says, you know what? on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. The kingdoms of this world becoming the kingdoms of our God and of his Christ. I think we're ambassadors. I think we are a, a, an, a, an envoy that's been released and set forth 
uh, uh, an apostolic ministry that's been set forth in the in the earth. I think God's calling the church back to an apostolic. That's a whole other sermon. I ain't going to try to get into that because there's too many <laughs> bugs up here flying I around. They're sucking the blood out of me and Tina. But anyway, I just wanted to encourage you guys with that. I just wanted to let you know that, uh, uh, you know, you may go through a season where you don't necessarily feel God. That he's not punishing you, baby. He's just getting you ready. It's preparation <laughs> time. So encourage yourself. Do like David. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Be strengthened by that. I love you. I appreciate you all very much. Well, I'm not going to preach a whole sermon. just wanted to give you that little devotional. Share this with somebody you think needs to hear it. Hopefully, we'll get this over on YouTube for the people that don't yeah. watch this on Facebook but can watch this on YouTube. We'll try to get that over there. Share it. Please remember to give. Please remember to be faithful when you're giving. You can text to give. You can give on our app. You can give on our website. You can drive by and give Jonata the envelope when she's at the office, however you want to do it. But please continue your faithfulness in that. Also, we'll be back in the church next week. The worship team, I think, is going to be meeting sometime mm -hmm. later this week for doing some rehearsal and practice. And I don't know all the details on that, but, you know, we'll we'll get that out to all the worship team members that need to hear that. And uh, and we'll be back at the church next Sunday. We'll be doing some live stream praise and worship. And then we'll either be doing like a conversation board there where we're talking to a couple of different people. or I'll be sharing the word of God. We haven't ironed out those details yet. But uh, just be encouraged, be blessed, enjoy the weekend, enjoy your time resting with your family. I hope you get into doing that. I'm going to come back around where Tina is right. so you can see Let's... her. There we are. We're back. <laughs> and so I didn't get to see any of your comments, so I'll have, Tina will have to go back and yes. show them to me. So anyway, we love you. We hope you guys are doing well. We hope you're having an awesome week, uh, weekend and uh, celebrating uh, with your families, mm -hmm. just resting, relaxing, enjoying your liberty, enjoying your freedom, enjoying your independence. Uh, we hope you're able to do all of that. Uh, we're, we're having a great time yes. here. We're getting to enjoy time with our family. We're getting to enjoy time with friends. We're getting to enjoy time with one another. Uh, we're getting to enjoy time here in the wilderness with Yahweh, uh, just having him refresh us and pour into us. And what a great time to be able to do that uh, since we're kind of unable to be in church like we really want be so we love you guys love we you. appreciate y'all very much we are getting inundated and assaulted by <laughs> flies so it's so bad up here next time we come up here maybe we'll come back later this week that'd be cool pam said she wanted to go on a ride so maybe we'll take them on a we'll ride we'll take you on a woods. ride we'll, we'll ride you around we'll take you on a ride if you want to do that we'll try to do that hopefully the weather holds up down here we'll do that real soon uh next time i come up in these woods though i'm bringing some fly yeah, spray and some horrible. daddy long legger spray I'm right now. I'm more petrified of these flies. I know. <laughs> so many. These things got like stingers <laughs> like this. They just they're sucking the blood. If if you don't hear from us, send help because that means uh, they sucked all the blood out of us. We need a, like a, there's one on the oh, screen. No. We, it's a, we need a blood transfusion. <laughs> all right, we love you guys. We gotta love go. You. We gotta fight for our lives up here. We're being attacked. These West Virginia flies are no joke. Love y'all. We'll see you guys. Bye bye.